you can now finally invoke workspace level scripts with an X. Let's find out. Hey, what's up folks, Yuri from NX here. So this has been a request that came from a lot of different people because normally in NX what you have is you have those different projects and then you have project level tasks or things you invoke. So if you take a look for instance at this workspace, here we have a Vite app, which is basically a React app using Vite. And you, ha you have this project JSON where you have the different tasks that you can run against this project. So whether that is a project JSON or a package JSON in a package-based monorepo, it doesn't really matter. But all those scripts are focused on running and operating on that project. Sometimes, however, you might have those tasks that run across the entire workspace so that even touch multiple projects. Let's say you generate the documentation side and you want to parse all your packages, things like that. And so now finally, starting with NX 15.3, you can do it. So at the root of my workspace, I created the tools folder and I added a simple script. So this is really stupid. All it does is log out a couple of messages and then make sure the directory exists for creating an output file that it writes here. And in the package JSON, I have this script. So to invoke it, what I normally would do is actually just npm run this. And so I can do npm run my script. And what it would create is create this, this folder and create this output file. Now, why would I want to do this actually? Why would I want to use an X to run this script? Well, we can leverage caching at this point. So that's the main advantage that you get. So to be able to run this script at the root level, all I need to do is create here an NX node, which allows an X to identify that this is actually a root level project where scripts might be and where an X should invoke those scripts. So by having done that, I can already go ahead and do just an X my script. And this would now invoke this script directly at the root level. And you can see here the file gets created. Now, one thing you might notice here is if I rerun this a couple of times, it doesn't get cached, so it gets recreated every time. So the next operation I might want to do is actually add this to the NXJSON file and that's here, my script as a cacheable operation. And with that, I can now already leverage the caching but we can even continue fine tuning the whole caching aspect here. So similar to all the other type of targets, what we can do is specify for instance, what inputs this script takes and what outputs. And so I can go directly here in this NX node at my package JSON and add the targets object here and add here my script and keep adding some properties. So in this case, for instance, I might want to specify the output, which here is actually happening in the workspace directory. So the workspace root slash tools and then this. In this way, if I rerun the command now, NX would capture also the output. So if I rerun it, you see it is cached. And so even if I delete the directory here and I rerun the command, it would restore that directory again. And I can keep doing similar things such as defining here inputs. So what files should my script consume? But I can go even a step further. So sometimes you don't want necessarily to run NX my script, but rather you would want to continue just running npm run my script. Now, right now, if you just do npm run my script, what would happen is it would, it would bypass NX and therefore the whole caching wouldn't work. Now, starting in NX 15.3, we also introduced something that is called NX exec. And this allows you to prefix your commands with this NX exec, pass this as an argument, and this would then pipe through NX itself. And therefore you could still leverage again the whole caching approach. So if I now run again, npm run my script, you see it runs through. If I rerun it, now it will be cached directly and NX kind of takes care of that. So there's a very powerful approach because you don't even need to change the way you invoke those scripts and as you might be accustomed to, but you can just wrap them with the NX exec. So I hope this was helpful. As always, like and subscribe, check out the videos that are referenced in this one here and I'll catch you in the next one.